Hello and welcome to Bible Time. I'd like to share today uh, from a passage of scripture of Psalm number 83. This is a prophetic psalm, so this has very much implications for us today. When we see prophecy that's mentioned in the Old Testament, we see it coming to pass right before our eyes, it excites us because we know that the Bible is true, and in fact, it's ahead of its time. Uh, prophecy is very clear and uh, lays out specific people and uh, specific uh, instructions. In Psalm 83, this is a psalm by Asaph. It says in verse 1, O God, do not keep silent. Be not quiet, O God, be not still. See how your enemies are astir, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people, that's the Jews. They plot against those you cherish. The Jewish people are the apple of God's eyes says that in Zechariah. Come, they say, these are the enemies of Israel. Let us destroy them as a nation, that the name of Israel be remembered no more. This is almost a direct quote of Ahmadinejad in Iran. If you pay close attention to the uh, news, they want to uh, destroy Israel and uh, make it uh, fall into the sea, if you will, to destroy them. Uh, that they would be no more in remembrance. It's coming to pass, just as the Bible says. With one mind, they plot. These are all the uh, Muslim nations around Israel. They form an alliance against you, against God, and against his people. The tents of Edom, that is the descendants of Esau, and the Ishmaelites, the, these are the descendants of Ishmael of Moab, the Hagarites, Gibal, Ammon, Amalek, Philistia, with people of Tyre, even Assyria has joined them to lend strength to the descendants of Lot. Uh, these are all Muslim uh, countries. These are all descendants of all these that's found in the Old Testament uh, that have joined together with one uh, mission, and that is to destroy Israel. Uh, if you study history, you will discover that all of these people have been fighting Israel since Israel's conception. When uh, God called the descendants of Jacob, uh, Jacob had 12 sons, which become the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, they've been fighting them ever since. And uh, they're still fighting the same people that they've been fighting for thousands of years. But that's what they are doing. They are plotting together to destroy Israel. If you drop on down, uh, this is a history lesson that Asaph brings us to. Uh, tell, reminds the Lord, not that the Lord needs to be reminded. Uh, do to them as you did in Midian, as you did in uh, Sisera and Jabin and, and Kishon uh, and Endor. You can read all of that. Uh, if you take down in verse 12, uh, this is what they said. Let us take possession of the pastor lands of God. Uh, this is uh, very prophetic in the fact that Israel, the land of Israel, the original allotment of the land of Israel is God's land. It's his land. He chose it to be his land and chose the Jewish people to bring forth the Messiah, the Savior of the world. It's got God's name written on it. Uh, it is his land, and they are trying to take it as their own possession. Now, when Israel was uh, being punished by God to other nations being in exile, the land dried up. It was barren, and nobody wanted it. But now that Israel has come back to the land, which fulfills prophecies in uh, Ezekiel, uh, in Ezekiel uh, 36 to be precise, the land flourished and now all of a sudden everybody wants to possess it but it's God's land and uh, Asaph asked the Lord or uh, gives counsel of course we don't counsel God Almighty but he reminds God make them a tumbleweed like chaff before the wind as a fire consumes the forest or flame and sets up mountains ablaze 
pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Uh, this is going to come to pass, I believe, in my lifetime and in yours. Uh, if we just keep looking at Israel, keep looking at the Bible, look at all the prophecies that Jesus said before his return, and you will see that these scriptures are coming to pass precisely as he said it would. Cover their faces with shame, in verse 16 he says, so that men will seek your name, O Lord. There is one Lord God of heaven and earth. His name is Jehovah, Yahweh. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed. May they perish with disgrace. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the most high over all the earth. So here is a pro prophecy concerning what is happening in our day and what is going to happen, uh, it's going to continue to unfold uh, even on our own time. And uh, if all goes well, lift up your head, repent of your sins, and trust in Jesus Christ because he is soon to return because the Bible says watch look all the things that's happening and surely I am coming soon Jesus said so until next time uh, keep trusting in Christ and we'll see you next time when we have time in the Bible